chose the polar bear because they're endangered. It, it lives in open oceans. The pollution and the climate change caused by burning fuels, is also known as CO2, is um is destroying the ice, which what he lives on. They've been here for so long that it feel it feel really nice for them to be gone. And if I was a turtle, I'd just say. How do you feel if you know if we were doing that to you? And animals' lives are just as as just as worthy as our lives. Yeah. Some people don't seem to realise that. You just feel ashamed. Like yeah, because you could have helped. You could have like picked up some rubbish from the beach or something and taken it over to a bin. And also, it isn't just turtles that we're killing. It's also other stuff like rare fish and sharks and seals. It's almost monstrous, really. Well, we, we can recycle more. But actually, we can take the bus instead of car. Stop using things that have lots of chemicals in it. Because a bus does the same amount of fuel as one car, but it holds more people. Actually, it doesn't do the same amount as fuel. It does. It needs more. We chose the polar bears because we think they need the more attention. Because they're so vulnerable to the earth right now and um, the burning fuels and the pollution that we use also known as CO2 we could actually help by burning less fuels and not pollution not polluting so much we could actually use buses instead of the car how would you like it if your land was disappearing really really fast how would you like it if you were to swim for ages and ages and eventually you die of exhaustion the only thing we found out that it ate from the text is jellyfish and we found that sometimes it mistakes plastic bags for jellyfish and eats them and chokes and dies. We thought that this makes us feel quite guilty that the human race is doing this to the turtles and we felt ashamed and we feel that we could have done something before now and now we really want to do something. Well, today we are dressed as someone famous because we're helping raise money for helping helping children from around the world. And hopefully if we raise enough money we can make a difference in the world. Godfather. All wheel drives are usually like big chunky cars and because they weigh a lot, they need lots and lots of petrol and it's polluting. I did City because um, I wanted to show people that um, it's not just other animals we're hurting, we're actually hurting ourselves by polluting the air and the rivers and the water. Because cities are very big and there's lots of electrical thing that that pollutes the world. We're doing um, billboards. Let's work as a team to save the environment. We're doing kids going to school. I've drawn someone cycling, roller skates and skateboards. And you get fresh air if you walk to school. I'm drawing a school that could be in the future. A school that you can possibly properly build in the future. There'll be Heaven's Place and there's going to be um, about like four or three windmills. Solar panels and wind turbines. Thank you for coming, we've had such a yeah. lovely time. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, WWE. Thank you. Thank you. There was a time. A long time ago. When the world was still innocent and animals of every kind wandered freely. It was a magical time. Well, we learned about how what we do here can affect things even on the other side of the earth. 
I done the city part and I learnt when I watched the film that it looked really polluted and stuff. People see this movie and think, oh, this is actually what we're doing to animals. I can't believe I've been doing this for so long and not noticed. Well, I thought when you had to say it in your own words, you, un you understood it a lot more because before you were kind of saying words and you didn't really need to know what you were saying. But when you put it into your own words, you needed to think it through. I thought that it was um, good to um, put um, lots of expression in um, what, what I said and I really understood the story which made the film more interesting to hear. There was all different parts, so you had to do draw, and then we done drama, and all got together, so I really liked all of them. The whole thing? That's yeah. Great. Out of all of them, I think um, the drawing things were the best, and watching the film. My favourite was just thinking about how what we're doing to save the animals, because it just feels nice just to save the animals. Well, my favourite bit was when we were actually drawing things because it made you see how much there actually was to be saved and um, it's sometimes it's quite hurtful to see what actually needed to be saved. I don't use that much paper anymore. I've started recycling more and turning off lights when I leave the room and not putting the TV on standby. Our head teacher has decided to uh, make this a green school. I've cycled to school a few days. Well, I used to take the car to school, but as soon as Al told me that WWF were coming, I started to walk more often. And there's, we've got like walking chart and I've walked almost every day. And also I used to like charge my iPod and everything, <coughs> but now I like, I make sure that I turn it off at night and like take all my plugs out at night so it's not still running and everything. When this all stops, I'm going to be quite sick so I really miss everyone who's done it. Well if everybody makes a small change it'll be it'll make a big change and and there'll be lots of animals saved lots of things saved. They need our care we need we have to do this if we don't we're not just endangering them we're endangering ourselves and this is a bad thing.